This demonstration illustrates the procedure to reimage a NetBackup Appliance 5330 remotely over the Intelligent Platform Management Interface or IPMI network using the NetBackup Appliance 2.6.1 ISO image. The appliance reimage process reformats and recreates all partitions, entirely wiping out the earlier configuration, and reinstalls the operating system. Reimage the appliance in situations where the appliance operating system, net backup, or any of the appliance software components are corrupt and beyond repair. Reimaging is also used when decommissioning an appliance or after a proof of concept or POC completion. Before you reimage the appliance, record the existing appliance configuration information such as host name, network details, storage configuration, and so on. This information can be used to reconfigure the appliance after the reimage operation. Before you begin the reimage operation, make sure that the IPMI network is configured on your appliance. Also ensure that you can access the integrated baseboard management web interface from the remote computer. You first need to download the appliance 2.6.1 ISO image from Symantec File Connect website and store it to a local drive on the remote computer that will be used to connect remotely to the NetBackup Appliance 5330 IPMI network. Make sure that ports 5120 and 7578 are open if a firewall exists between the appliance and the remote computer. Note that due to the bandwidth required to install an ISO image over the IPMI network, the ISO installation works best if the appliance and the remote computer are located in the same physical site. If you try to remotely reimage an appliance or a WAN link, the process may fail. Symantec does not recommend performing an ISO reimage over a WAN link. Ensure that no backup or restore activity is in progress on the appliance before starting the reimage process. Power off your appliance first. This can be done remotely over IPMI. To do so, open a supported browser on the computer that you will use to remotely access the appliance and enter the remote management port IP address that is assigned to the appliance and log in to the integrated baseboard management interface. Navigate to the Remote Control tab and then click Server Power Control. Select the Graceful Shutdown option and then click Perform Action. The appliance may take 10 to 15 minutes to fully shut down. Navigate to the Remote Control tab, select Console Redirection, and click Launch Console. When the Redirection Console launches, click on the Device drop-down menu on the console, and select Redirect ISO. From the open pop-up window that appears, choose the ISO image that you want to install and click Open. Return to the integrated baseboard management interface and select Server Power Control on the left side of the remote control page. The power control and status page is displayed. When the server is shut down, the only available option is Power On Server. Select this option and click Perform Action. Return to the remote console and wait for the system to power on. When the splash screen is displayed, immediately press the F6 key to enter the boot menu. Note that you only have a few seconds to perform this task. If you do not press the F6 key in time, the operating system loads and you can't access the boot menu. When the boot menu is displayed, scroll down to Virtual CD-ROM and press Enter
From the boot menu screen, use the arrow key to select Install Net Backup Appliance 2.6.1 and press Enter to continue. This starts the appliance reimage process. From here on, it is an automated process as we utilize the Auto Yast feature, which is similar to any scripted operating system installation, where all the necessary and possible inputs are scripted and passed on to the install process, which performs the entire installation without the need for any manual intervention. Remitch comprises two processes, operating system installation and appliance software installation. Reimaging takes approximately an hour to complete. The initial install formats the disks, copies the operating system RPMs and installs the operating system. The appliance reboots following the successful operating system installation and this completes the first phase of the reimage process. When the appliance reboots, the second phase of the reimage process starts. During this phase, Net Backup and other appliance software is copied and installed on the appliance. When all appliance packages are installed, the appliance reboots for the second time. After the second reboot, if the installation completes successfully, a message stating Welcome to the Net Backup Appliance 2.6.1 is displayed on the Appliance Shell menu with the logon prompt. This completes the Net Backup Appliance 5330 reimage process. The reimage process reverts the appliance back to the factory installed state. Before you begin the reconfiguration process, it is recommended that you reference the appliance configuration information which you recorded prior to starting the reimaging process.